I've been really busy this week working on the musical and also working on uh, the song Laverne, which has taken a, a lot of time, but I really wanted to post this video. It's about living our attempt to live a waste-free life. I don't know about you, but like when, when I put things in a bin, sometimes I'm just like, I don't know where that's going. I know that's not gonna decompose. I know Mother Earth is a ball and there's quite a few of us on this ball and we're all digging holes and stuffing things into this ball, which is a living and breathing thing, which is... <laughs> it starts right there, people. It starts with what am I gonna do with my waste? Step number one for us was to stop buying processed food. So that means then that you end up making those things. And my waistline's gone down. It's the gift that keeps giving. This week it's, oh, I've forgotten, what is it? It's oregano and chili. So let's see how that goes. Sourdough bread, two lots of yogurt. What else did I do? A batch of apple cider vinegar doing its thing. This is the batch I made last time. It tastes amazing, I gotta say. It's really lovely. My next batch of kombucha. Recent batch of sourdough. <laughs> this one, oh, I'm getting closer. It burnt on the top. I did this in the wood stove last night. It may or may not have taken out one of Harry's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Number two, buying at farmer's markets. I thought I'd show you some booty from the farmer's market this morning. You know, generally in the market that we go to here, it's not, there's a lot of spray free stuff. And this was part of what, you know, what made us realize, wasn't it? That we needed to do even more, was it coming home from the farmer's market with locally grown produce, but had bloody polythene bags. Nobody's gonna recycle those. So they're gonna exist forever which is a bit of a bugger, but quite a few of the stall holders will unbag the produce for us and just drop it into our bags. As well, you know, it's that whole thing again. It's creating community. This is a local grower, Pond. She uh, has grown lemongrass, so that would be absolutely gorgeous. Well, you've just come back from Auckland. It's harder to be um, waste-free. Harder, much harder. Up here, it's easier but it's still really, really challenging. As we live in the middle of nowhere, it, we don't get rubbish collected. We don't get recycling collected. We have to deal with whatever we produce. Mm. For years, we've been pretty good, right, at recycling and waste, really, when we can. But being here honed us to another step because, for me, we've gotten really good at it. And so the only rubbish, really, we were producing was packaging, wrapping, cellophane, things that we can't recycle. a rubbish bag worth of rubbish in what well, depends on what's happening but three or four months and bearing in mind we're still cleaning up the land and the house it's the kind of stuff I find in the garden <laughs> there's stuff everywhere it's the last tenants put a big pile in there down in the paddock somewhere and set fire to it. Yeah. That's, the, that's how they worked it. The other major thing that we've decided to do is as and when items ran out, not to replace them by buying more stuff, but finding other ways to deal with it. The famous dishcloth, you know, the Che Guevara. Um, that's the, okay, so this is the first one I ever made. 
<laughs> uh, we won't. Yeah. Anyway, that was the first one. And um, this was the second one. Beautiful. And um, this was the third one. There is a fourth one. It's in the wash. This is the little baby fifth one because that's all I had left on the reel. But um, no, it's not wool. It is uh, cotton with milk protein. Anyway, I'll put the link to where I got it from down below. But honestly, it's flipping amazing. So I just want you to see how amazing this is because you won't believe it because I didn't believe it. But I kid you not. So that is sopping wet. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look, so that really does ring out. There is a wet sideboard. I, I don't know if you can see how amazing that is. It totally works. And I smile every time I use it because I made it and it's reusable. I feel really bloody grateful and useful that I've done this thing for the lowliest of tasks, which let's face it, happens every single day in a household. I think that's pretty wonderful. Rather than flinging it in the landfill now, you know, it gets washed. Because it was lovingly knitted. Because it was lovingly knitted by a lovingly wife. We're not gonna be able to do it all at once and it's baby steps, uh, but you know, it's amazing what it does because rather than just kind of, you know, go like that, when you can't be asked to think about what's gonna to happen to something, you really kind of slow down and you really think, mm -mm, hang on. The only thing that we're buying from the supermarket now are things whose packaging I can reuse. And then household products. So as they're running out, what I'm doing is figuring out how to make them myself. We've been making our own deodorant, toothpaste, household cleaner, toilet cleaner. This is coconut oil. I wash my face with this. I moisturize with this. I take my eye makeup off with this. What else do I do? Oh, we oil pull with this. The more we go down this wonderful rabbit hole of, well, what does that mean to live a waste-free life? the more we're discovering about um, how we can make all of those things rather, uh, for ourselves rather than go out and buy them with all of that packaging. And not always be so sure either about the ingredients and stuff like that. Learning how to do all of these things from scratch in the kitchen especially is very, very humbling. I've had so many failures especially with the sourdough. It's been the bane of my life for over a year and finally I'm getting there. And we can, all of us, start this amazing discussion on how we can take more responsibility and be more prepared to live a fantastic, healthy, wholesome, connected life. Find it together.